Hello, everyone. Welcome to the first episode of Material Science in Five Minutes. I'm Ji Qi from the Materials Virtual Lab, and today my topic is bridging the gap between simulated and experimental ionic conductivities of lithium superionic conductors. Let me briefly introduce what is lithium superionic conductors. As we know, lithium-ion battery is the enabling component for our electrical vehicles, but they also cause safety issues, which can be traced back to the liquid electrolyte, which is highly flammable and highly reactive. So one potential solution for this safety issue is the also listed lithium battery, which not only give us improved safety, but also a better performance. So the major difference of all solid state lithium battery is that their electrolyte is also in solid state. So the, the solid state electrolyte is required to be electronic insulating and ionic conducting. That's why they are also referred as lithium super ionic conductors. And in last decades, up initial molecular dynamic simulations enabled by the first principle calculation it's largely used to study the ionic conductivity and diffusion mechanisms inside the lithium superionic conductors. However, there has been a gap between the AMD simulated and experimentally measured ionic conductivities. Here I list two of the promising lithium superionic conductors. You can see that the room temperature ionic conductivity simulated by AMD is a few times or even more than 10 times higher than the experimental measurements. From our study, this gap can be traced back to the limitations in AMD simulations, which is the high computational cost and accuracy limited by the DFT functional used. So with high computational cost, the AMD simulation is limited to below nanosecond scale. And uh, with this simulation time, we were only able to study ionic conductivity at higher than 500 Kelvin, where the uh, ionic diffusion is faster. And we assume a constant activation ba barrier and extrapolate down to room temperature to study the ionic conductivity there. However, this assumption does not always stand. As we know, there are non erroneous behavior in the lithium lanthanum titanate, which means that at around 400 Kelvin, there is a transition in the activation barrier. So if we still assume constant activation barrier, there will, we will overestimate the room temperature ionic conductivity. In our study, we try to address AMD limitations by machine learning interatomic potentials in brief MLAP. And MLAPs are surrogate models that give similarly accurate but much faster predictions compared with quantum mechanical simulations. So with the below workflow, we generated MLAPs for those three electrolytes. And the MLAPs are proved to have uh, at least three orders of magnitude faster computational speed compared with AMD. Okay, so with that, we were able to extend our simulation time to nanosecond scale, and our simulation cell can contain more than 1,000 atoms. Also, we were able to use the more realistic NPT ensemble for our molecular dynamic simulation. And at the same time, in our workflow, we were able to consider different choices of DFT functional, which has an important role for the prediction accuracy. So with those MLAPs, we were able to simulate ionic diffusion not, not only at higher temperature, but also directly at room temperature regime. You can see that the simulated 300K ionic conductivity matched quite well with the experimental result. And uh, at the same time, we also observed non erroneous transition in all those three electrolytes at around 400 to 500 Kelvin. For LTO, this transition matched almost perfectly with experimental result. While for the other two electron material, this transition is the first time reported by us, and we are still waiting for experimental validation from the research community. 
And we are also interested to see how we can take advantage of this non erroneous behavior. Okay, so if you are interested in our study, please refer to our recent published paper in Material Today Physics. And uh, if you're interested to build machine learning interatomic potential by yourself and study more about uh, machine learning in material science, you can refer to our open source Python package memo. And I would like to take this chance to thank all the co-authors and my advisor, Professor Shui Ping Ong, and also the funding resources and the computational resources to support this study. Thank you for watching.